Joining us now, former Deputy National Security Advisor KT McFarland. KT is also the author of the book, Revolution, Trump, Washington, and We the People. Okay, KT, square this. The Biden administration is getting criticized for helping Russia by waiving sanctions on the company building the Nord Stream pipeline in Germany. That helps Russia. Rick Perry, former Energy Secretary, saying this is a Putin crony the Biden administration is helping. But they're opposing pipelines here. Can you square this? No, and nobody can square this. Look, th this is not only putting America second, third, this is putting America's interests last. Why? Because here we spend billions of dollars to have American forces in Europe to defend against Russia. And yet at the same time, we're not even putting on piddling little sanctions on Putin cronies. Because what we're doing is we're enabling Europe, particularly Germany in the case of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, to become economically dependent they're energy dependent on Russia. It's a windfall for Russia. It's bad for American interests. And yet the Biden administration, they talk tough. Oh, Biden has said, you know, Putin, he's a killer. But when it comes down to actually doing the deeds, they won't do it. You know, so they shut down, the Biden administration shuts down the Keystone Pipeline, killing 11,000 yeah. jobs. They want to shut down the Dakota Access Pipeline. And then we've got this prominent Michigan newspaper, the Detroit News, calling Governor Whitmer of Michigan, quote, clueless for demanding a shutdown of a fuel pipeline amid gas shortages triggered by the Colonial Pipeline ransomware attack. Um, you know, then you have this, this cognitive dissonance. You have the Homeland Security Secretary of Mayorkas defending pipelines as critical infrastructure. Jennifer Granholm, Energy Secretary, saying we need the pipes to deliver the fuel. What do you say? Look, I think if they think if they just throw up enough blue smoke and mirrors that nobody will really see what's going on. They're canceling pipelines in America. They're making energy much more expensive in the United States. They're making the United States, in fact, a much bigger polluter because those pipelines carry natural gas, while at the same time they're allowing the Russians to become rich and, and economically powerful because of the pipelines there. Look, at the end of the day, Liz, I don't think it's anymore it's, it's about energy stuff. I really think it's, uh, the, you know, the Twitter world, the, the Twitter chitter-chatters, they became very excited at the thought that there were long gas lines in the northeast of the United States. You know why? They thought, well, now everybody will have to have electric cars. We won't be able to have fossil fuel cars. So maybe that's their real objective. Make energy so expensive that we can't even drive cars. You need natural gas to power the electric utilities to power the cars. It, it just yeah, feels like, you know, they they're really slamming. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. They don't Final word, it just they feels like this is so negative about America. Yeah, we hear you. Of course it This is. feels so negative about America, this position, these positions. Final word, KT, quick one. we got to go. I liked it when we put America first. Let's get back to doing that again. Okay. KT McFarland, good to see you.